I wanted to ask you this, Matt. Where, again, one of the conversations that, that should have been propping up in this moment where Qantas is needing to realign its business is the treatment of regional Australia. Now, I showed last night on TV what the cost is to fly within your own state, including, literally, if you want to fly from Launceston to Hobart, you've got to go via Melbourne. If you're somebody who wants to go from Rockhampton to Brisbane, and, of course, not everyone's going to the Ecker, not everyone's going to watch the Broncos, you might be going there because that's where the medical specialist is, or that's where the lawyer is, mm, or that's where mm. the family member is. That's right. And the reality right. is, is that if you want to fly between Sydney and Melbourne, you might luck it for under 100 bucks. Mm. You want to fly between Towns and Brisbane, you might luck it for under $300. Do you think that the airline has a capacity to actually deal with that? Or is the assumption just, again, because most of the media don't fly these routes, well, they'll just keep screwing you? Well, I, I'm very concerned about that. I mean, it was happening a bit before COVID, although after a bit of pressure, things got did get a little bit better. But now it's much, much worse. And you're absolutely right about the essential nature of uh, these flights to capital cities from regional uh, areas. They're like our toll roads. Uh, you know, in the cities, you've got to take a toll to get from one part of the city to another. It's a few bucks. Uh, for us in regional Australia to go see, as you say, specialists, uh, to go see professional services like doctors, accountants, do business, you often got to go to the capital city. And it's a cost of doing business, it's a cost of living in regional Australia. And, and now it's pretty hard to get a, a flight from Rockhampton to Brisbane, where I'm from, for under 200 bucks one way. Uh, it used to be around 130 before the pandemic. So it's a real, real cost for people. And I've, I've had a brick wall with Qantas and Virgin. It's not just Qantas. You shouldn't let Virgin off the hook here either. They're both as bad as each other here. I think they've found a sweet spot post-pandemic where they're restricting supply. Mm. Uh, and that's letting them keep their prices high and they're working in cahoots to do that. We What's need more the Coles and Woolies effect? And that's why the decision about Qatar, it was international flights, but the decision about Qatar is so disappointing. It shows the government's reluctance here. Uh, to seek to introduce more competition. And talking about humility, it would good, be good to see the Prime Minister show some humility this week, admit he's got this wrong, admit at least to conduct a review of the decision like his own state governments and uh, national president is asking for. But instead, we're seeing a very arrogant Albanese this week. We're seeing arrogant Albo, who is refusing to have any criticism of his own decisions and just digging in despite the massive community outrage rage about Qantas on his decision.